Hello guys, this is Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com and in this video I'm gonna show you how to solve the class not registered chrome.exe error. This is a error that uh, has been reported from Windows 10 users mostly but it can be also found in other um, operating systems. Uh, so in this video I'm gonna show you five solutions in order to solve this problem. The first solution is the easiest to do. So you can just completely reinstall Chrome. So you can just completely reinstall the browser Browser, Google Chrome and then the problem should be solved this thing you can do by uh, uninstalling it with a dedicated software I'm gonna use Revo uninstaller you can find it really easily on Google by searching and in this software you just select the program that you want to uninstall click uninstall and very easily you will uh, select moderate and yes and the uninstallation uh, process will begin and everything uh, should be uh, going okay so if the problem still persists and uh, you still have the error there are four other solutions that I'm gonna show you and I think that those are gonna help you the second solution would be to delete some uh, registry files uh, from uh, Google Chrome and uh, we'll do that from the command prompt in Windows 10 you just press uh, the Windows key plus Q in the same time and then uh, you write CMD command prompt will pop up here you just right click on it and then run as administrator if the user account control appears uh, you just click yes and here in the um, command prompt you just have to paste some uh, commands that uh, you, you're gonna find in the article of this video so in the command prompt um, you're gonna have to copy and paste one by one these commands you're gonna find them in the article of this video. You paste them one by one, press enter and the things will be deleted. I'm not gonna run it because I don't have the class not registered error, but you do that and um, you should be okay. If the problem is not solved, don't close the video because I'm gonna show you three other solutions. The third solution would be to re-pin the um, Chrome browser in the start menu and that uh, should solve the issues. You just uh, unpin it from the taskbar by right clicking and uh, then uh, left click on unpin from taskbar. Then you just have to go on um, Windows Plus Q, as I said, and uh, right clear this PC in order to um, go in the uh, old My Computer. And here we're gonna go uh, to the location of uh, where Chrome is installed. Just go in C or wherever you have it installed. Program Files x86 and then Google and then Chrome, then Application. And you have your application here. You just right click and pin to start and then drag it to the taskbar or right click and pin to taskbar and now Chrome should start without any errors you should be okay but if this uh, uh, neither resolves the issue stay here for another two solutions the fourth solution uh, is to run Chrome as a bad file so this process is really easy to do you just right click on your desktop new and uh, create a new text document open this text document and in the article uh, down below you'll find a command that I'm gonna paste here this command you're gonna paste and then click on file save as you're gonna save it on your desktop maybe if you want uh, so desktop and then um, give it a name I'm gonna give it uh, chrome.dat and uh, save and this should solve your problem so by doing this uh, you can run chrome from here and you should not have any issues running it it will be okay the fifth solution to this problem would be to update chrome to its latest version so to do that you just uh, left click on these uh, three points in the right hand side of Chrome and then click on settings and then you have to click uh, here in the left side on this button then go all the way down and click on about Chrome then in this page you're gonna have um, your version and it will automatically look for a new version if there is one in my case there isn't one so um, it's all good so these are the five solutions that could help you solve the class not registered issue if anything uh, goes wrong or you have some problems you can just leave a comment down below and uh, maybe we can help you but be aware all the registry editings that we've done in this video can do some uh, damage to your PC so you do this at your own risk because there are some risks always so uh, if you want to solve this issue you have to be very very careful and you just have have to watch this video closely and you'll know how to do it so this was the video until next time goodbye